What's going on, people? Just waking up. Still got to clean my face. You know, about to go to class in a little bit. But um, this your boy, Chugga. Um, about to, it's raining outside. It's kind of gloomy out there, but it's all good. Um, I guess my main topic for today is anger. And I guess I'll start off with my story. <sighs> well, recently, I've been kind of forced into a situation which forces me to be betrayed because I don't let a lot of people close to me. I'm an introvert at heart, you know, so not a lot of people are close to me in that type of level. But in this particular situation, I was forced into this situation. Like these people had to be close to me. I had to care about them. They had to care about me. But apparently one of us didn't come through on the deal. So I was betrayed and betrayed hard. Like it was. It's like now I have to live with this every day just because of decision of another person, you know, and it hurt. It hurts bad. Like I've never really experienced a pain this deep because it's like it's not my fault. But, yeah, I'm totally being penalized for it for the person whose fault it is. They're getting off having fun, having a blast, not even thinking about it, you know. But I felt a lot of anger. And this anger really has transcended every part of my life. Like, I'm now looking for love in all the wrong places, you know. I'm just pretty much finding females. They look right. It's on and popping. Because it's, it's a stress reliever. It's something that can make me feel love for a short period of time. And... You know, pretty much or, or give me an escape for a while. You know, I've been extra bitter to my friends, extra bitter among my peers in general. You know, I started cussing again. Like, and none of this stuff, this ain't me at all. Like, my prayer life has suffered. My reading life has suffered, you know. And it's like, this anger, it's, it's not good. You got to get a... You got to get a grasp on it. It's not a sin to anger. It's not It's not a sin at all, you know, but it's a sin to hold grudges. And it's a sin, you know, to let the sun go down in anger. In fact, let me see if I can find the scripture. Um, Ephesians 5 and 26. Got my Bible here. It says, I feel like a kid in church reading the scripture. <laughs> Be ye angry. Be ye angry. And sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. So that's pretty much saying there's nothing wrong with anger, but do not sin due to your anger. You know, that's when anger becomes bad. That's when anger is not of God, because as Christians, we're supposed to have a, a distaste, a disdain, a intolerance for sin and the ignorance of this world, you know. And that's always been me, but... The whole in sin not, I kind of missed that part. I was, I was pretty much doing whatever I wanted because I was angry. I was angry at the world at this point. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. I wasn't doing that either. <laughs> the days and days went by, you know, and that's pretty much a grudge thing. You can't be holding grudges, you know. It says somewhere in Matthew, grudge not or something like that. I don't know, but you know. If you have a problem with somebody and it's happening, it's happening right now, try to work that out with that person and do what the Bible says. Bring it in front of that person, man to man. Or if that doesn't work, bring it in front of a small group. If that doesn't work, bring it before, you know, the entire organization or the church, as the Bible says. And if that don't work, F them. Like, let it go. But it's, it also says in the same chapter, 31st verse, let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. And be, oh, 32, and be ye kind to one another, tender hearted, forgiving one another, even as God, for Christ's sake, has forgiven you. You gotta learn how to forgive. It's when you do the proper channels, like I just said before, you know. Your heart should be free to forgive. Not forget, but forgive. Don't be stupid. But when you don't forgive, that builds up 
so much malice and anger in your heart and that person really has control over you because they're able to really affect how you live how you carry yourself like your life can be affected you know some and another lesson people sometimes a simple i'm sorry will make things so much better like people are walking around carrying stuff from like when they five six years old that i'm sorry could alleviate and we can have better happier people here you know i don't want people feeling like i feel or how i felt because i'm in the process of letting this go and moving on and being the bomb but really people it's not worth it let it go keep going you still alive no matter what happened to you because you know crazy stuff is happening to me right now but i'm still here you know i'm still living i might lose some friends i might you know i might even have a bad reputation because of something i didn't do but i'm still here and i'm still holding on to god's unchanging hand i believe that he will you know make a way and heal all wounds he is a healer he's a deliverer you know, and I just thank him for that. So y'all, um, just stay in prayer about it. You know, because sometimes the capacity to forgive is you just don't have it. Point blank. Us humans, we're, we're vengeful. <laughs> like, but it says vengeance is my say of the Lord. Like, we, we want to go at it. And we just don't have the capacity in our hearts to forgive. But that's when God comes in. You just got to pray that he gives you the strength the power you know because greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world so y'all um i hope this helps somebody you know i guess i'll see y'all later (laughs) peace